Good day, Hawkinson, and welcome back to Some Good News, your channel for all good things. We're your hosts, Ainsley Burkhard, Foster Scott, and Sophia Cermini. Let's hear some good news. On our new Facebook page and personal Instagrams, we asked you what you're doing to stay busy during quarantine and received an amazing response. Here are some ideas if you're bored like we are. Painting is a great way to relax. Find a new show to binge on Netflix or other streaming services. Spend some time with your pets. Try new things you never know what you'll like. Skateboarding and riding your bike are fun hobbies to try when the sun's out. Video games are great for indoor play. Make a bucket list of fun, fun things you want to do once we finish social distancing. Growing a garden is also a great way to experiment and grow your own food. Wow, those are some great ideas. Okay, seriously so though, like what have you guys been doing over quarantine? I've been baking a lot. Me too. That's like, fun. I don't yeah. know. What I have you been doing, Ainsley? About a week ago. Ooh, oh, yum. I have been playing a lot of video games. That's cool. Yeah. I thought you gave up video games, Foster. I did. And then I started again because I got bored. Remember to go follow our Facebook page, Some Good News, Hawkinson. Okay. For our next story, we go straight to Sophia's driveway. Sophia, would you like to share this sweet story? Thank you, Foster. We're here live with our local ice cream truck, Scott and Kim Wessa. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Great. Um, How has serving ice cream changed because of the stay-at-home order? Well, we've had to add a few things. We have a sneeze guard right here, which is the Angry Bird. I'm wearing gloves. We have a copper surface um, on our serving tray, which is the only touch point we have, and that is antiviral. Okay. Copper is antiviral. We use our social distancing swing arm. We keep <laughs> people out there. That logo out there is our logo for our sweet juice ice cream. We are a sweet juice ice cream. Our goal here at SGN is to spread joy and good news. What are some good things that have happened well, since you guys have been serving this year? Well, I think one of the real great things is that we've had people in uh, rural areas that have contacted us and asked us to come to their small rural communities. And they've never seen an ice cream truck. And they are so grateful and thankful. I think one of the other really great joy things is that we have a pay it forward program and we're trying to help out um, families that can't afford ice cream during this time to still be able to get ice cream. And we have been so blessed by our community. Awesome. There's like $200 in here. Wow. And we've been buy buying people ice cream, ice cream quite a bit. You know, we will spot them out. But, you know, you can always spot a kid that's buying ice cream because he's down at the curb at the sidewalk, <laughs> jumping into up and down with money. But when you drive by, you know, many neighborhoods, you'll see a kid up on the lawn and he'll be looking at you like, boy, I sure wish I had some ice cream. So we'll stop. And we'll go, hey, would you like an ice cream? And they'll always say, oh, I don't have any money. You go, well, you don't need money today. The, the Battleground community or Hawkinson community wanted to buy you an ice cream. It's so so generous. And so that's really been cool. We've been buying families ice cream. Uh, you know, certain areas uh, the more prevalent. Yeah, I've gone, to the fire, all, I've gone to all the first responders. Uh, I haven't done with the police yet, but I've done all the fire stations that are in my routing area. And uh, we pull up and buy them ice cream and uh, just thank them. That's so sweet. Yeah. This has just been an opportunity to get out and lay eyes on our community. Yeah. That's what, really what we're trying to do is just see if everybody's okay. You know, I know make, everyone really appreciates this. Oh, um, yeah, is there the anything else you want to say to the community? I think I would like to tell the community how proud I am of you for doing what you're doing. I think it's awesome. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I watched your show. I thought it was really cool to see you guys out there just taking advantage of technology. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's really what's going on. And bringing joy is, the, the, is really the good word, you know? Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, thank you.
you. That was really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, Foster, why don't you share our next story? Ashley Suba, an eighth grade student, held the door open at the end of the day, every day, while we were still going to classes in person. Emily Diaz was inspired by this and created a heartwarming video, which she shared with us here at SGN Hawkinson. Jesus loves you. Ashley. Hi, have a great weekend. See you. Have a great day. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Hi. Jesus loves you. I love that wow. video. Wow, that was so, so great. That really made my day. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley, for doing what you do. One way people are sharing positive messages from a farm is with signs and sidewalk chalk. We challenge you to create your own uplifting signs and chalk messages and send us photos of them for a chance to be shared in our next video. Yes, and it's as simple as just picking up a marker and paper and creating one for yourself to share positivity. Sophia, why don't you share our next story? Next, we go to our local Hawkinson Market, where I have the opportunity to interview the owner, Jim. Hi. So, um, is the, the Hawkinson Market is still open then, right? We are open. Okay. We're helping customers. That's great. Um, how are they adjusting to everything going on with the coronavirus? And everything? So, some of us have masks. But, uh, That's great. So basically, um, we've had to take all of our chairs away. Mm -hmm. You can see back here. Oh, table. yeah. Backed up. There is a fundraiser for the high school band. Can you see that? Oh, cool. Um, but all the chairs are gone throughout the store. So okay. there's that no seating. Um, we are selling pizzas to go. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are a grocery store, so we have all the groceries which we normally sell as well. Yeah. And, uh, and people are coming in and buying it. That's cool. That's great. Um, is there anything else you wanted to say to the community during this time or any time just now? Hang in there. We'll all get through this together. Yeah. Okay. If you have anything else, let me know. But otherwise, that's it. Well, I don't have anything else other than I hope we all can just get through this and everything will return to normal as soon as possible and hopefully nobody in the community gets sick. Yeah, I agree. Okay, thank you so much. That's it. You're welcome. Thank you. He seems like a really nice guy. Yeah, we yes. love the Hawkinson Market. Yeah, yes, it is all so right. great. Well, that's it for today's local news. Here's Ainsley and Sophia for some good news happening around the world. With everyone being home and many businesses at a pause, air pollution has gone down a remarkable amount and the environment is thriving. In Brazil, almost 100 endangered sea turtles hatched on the empty beaches. And for the first time in the shelter's history, a Palm Beach animal shelter is completely empty after all the dogs were adopted. Animal shelters all around the nation are seeing increased adoption rates because everyone can use a new friend to keep you busy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is so great. We're actually thinking of getting a chihuahua. That's um, really cool. Well, well, Hawkinson, That's cool. thank you for watching today's episode of Some Good News Hawkinson. Remember to send us your good news. We can't make new episodes unless you send us in good news. Thanks for watching, Hawkinson. We'll see you all next time. Bye, Ainsley. Bye, Foster. Bye-bye. Bye, Foster. Bye, Sophia. Bye. Peace out. Bye.